it's just amazing how our unsupervised brain just comes up with all these BS, drama, disempowering thoughts, and then we stop and we're like, oh, this is what I want to think. I will tell it what to think. Boom. You know, at my last, my last VidCon was 2016. I was at the tail end of my YouTube career. I had, I was just really still drinking and still just a little bit uncertain about the future. And now where I'm at is I moved across the country. I have a thriving life coaching business. I, you know, I play all these recreational sports, which is so my favorite thing sports. to talk about all day. I play you flag play football. So I play indoor soccer. I play indoor soccer. I play ultimate frisbee. I play kickball. I don't even recognize this version of myself. So that's the thing, it's like, I'm 44 years old. A lot of people who watch you are probably younger and it's like, I just want you all to know, it's like, you're meant to go through many different, yes. I am I am nothing at 44, like I was at 34 and at 24 and at and 14. Thank God. thank God. And isn't it every know? seven years, your cells technically yeah. completely turn over. So you actually are a whole new version yeah. of you. Yeah, so what I a just, beautiful thing. I love that, I love that. And people are like, oh, I, you see me and I haven't changed because you don't see it because it's internal. Like mm -hmm. I am the same, I'm out going I'm very well, good spirited Michael. I'm still Michael Buckley but inside I know how different I am mm -hmm. and my interests have evolved and I'm off of the the you know my life was so unconscious and unaware of the things I was doing and then the moment I got off of that I was like I made very I'm so decisive now yes. I make decisions so easily and happily versus years of just kind of waiting for my life to unfold or oh yeah. I guess I'll see how it goes and maybe I'll do this versus oh this is what I'm doing well and I think that's really important for people to hear because a lot of times we feel like oh when this happens I'll feel better which is when silly. that person apologizes then I can move on simply not true yeah. you'll find a new reason not to move on Exactly, because <laughs> you're just looking for because it's easier yeah. Yeah. it's comfortable where we are right. and you have to challenge yourself to, to push out of that right. and I, that's why I love your Instagram stories Thank in you. general it's really yes. inspiring thank you show up today with grace and compassion and unconditional love towards yourself no matter where you're at and do that with everybody around you because that makes the world so much easier to navigate when you give yourself that grace and that love. So how difficult was it selling your home, packing up your things, moving all the way out to Colorado in your car. Yeah. I mean, I just remember following along being like, this is a huge transition for him and I'm excited. You Thank know, you. Scared and excited in the way that you, you know, that's I just wasn't life. scared at all. I really, it was a happy and easy decision. Like it's mm -hmm. funny how, so in 2017, it was like, that was the year I just became decisive and I stopped eating fast food. I stopped drinking soda. I stopped drinking alcohol. And then I decided to sell my house and move to Denver. So like everything was just like an easy, happy decision. Decision. And versus the years, I think that's the thing. It's like being in overwhelm and confusion, like that's where it's like, uh, uh, uh. And then the moment you make the decision, it's easy. So yeah. it's like when I quit drinking, it was a very easy, happy decision. The year before thinking about quitting drinking, was, that was terrible. Yes. So it's like the thought of it was terrible, but then the moment I did, it was like freedom and release. And, did you oh, read a book? I read a book called book? Stop Drinking Now, The Alan Carr Easy Way. And it is, it's very, you know, coachy and therapy and just yeah. directing your brain. And I saw myself as a drinker. So I behaved as a drinker and then now I don't see myself as a drinker. So I don't drink mm -hmm. and also the book taught me again Like when I when you do anything if you're gonna quit drinking and it's like it's gonna suck or oh my god My life is gonna suck or I'm gonna lose my friendships, right? It sounds dreadful I quit drinking with great joy like I I saw my life would be much better without it So now it's like I always think am I gonna approach it with dread or joy and if you yeah. approach it with joy Everything's very simple, but if you approach it. Oh, I'm going to VidCon. This is gonna suck I approach oh, anything 100%. great joy Joy. If so you I wake think, up in the morning and like today's yeah, gonna be a wonderful it, day and I'm gonna be. get things that That's I want to get done, I'm gonna feel good about yes. it. I think, and that sounds silly, but I, I do does. that. I mean, I do too. I, I know it works, yep. and so I try to practice it, especially like VidCon. I'm more on the introverted yep. side of things, and so I'm always like, oh, it's gonna be exhausting. I'm like, no, it's gonna be wonderful. It's, it's gonna, gonna be wonderfully be wonderful. exhausting because I get to catch up with people that yes. I like, and I get to take breaks when I need. Exactly. And I get to control that. I so. get to do this versus I have to do this. Yes. Like, that's the simplest mind shift. Like, I have all these things to do. You go, you could go, you, could yeah. go. you don't have to you clean don't your don't house. Have to. You don't have to pick up your kids nope. from school. Hire somebody. If you're yeah. that, you I'm get so to do all of this. To, yes. You are not doing your children any favor if you put them first. If you're like, my children are my life, you're screwed. If you're like, oh my God, my husband, you're screwed. You always number one. The kids, the spouse, the job, they benefit from you being selfish.
Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the main thing I coach to is decide ahead of time. So I know how this interview is gonna go because yeah. I've got my thoughts and feelings in order. I'm not waiting to see how you treat me or how the, the comments come in. It's like, I know it's gonna go great because yes. I've decided ahead of time. So moving to Denver, I knew it was gonna go great. Like I left the iPhone store and they said, if you don't like it, you can bring it back. And I said, well, I'm gonna like it because I want to like it. So yeah. I mean, let me just think about what, that, what I just said. Yes. I want to like it, so I'm gonna like it. I'm not gonna look for problems. I'm not gonna, yeah, I not want to like it. I want to have a great time at VidCom, so I'm gonna have a great, it's all up to you. Oh, 100%. Your experience. Because so. our brains seek out what we're what we're wanting it to find. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. You know, if we're looking for the negatives and the, the negative, we're gonna find them. There but if is. we look for the positives and the smiles yeah. and the gestures, then we find that and we can enjoy that. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank you for taking the time to share I your mean, story. I would, I would talk to you any day of the week for hours and hours and hours. I know. So I thank love it. You. Do you have any advice for anybody who maybe is in that mucky muck part? Enjoy the mucky muck part. Like that's the thing. It's like, and that's why we're, we're, we're talking about like, if you're waiting to forgive someone or if you're waiting to change careers, like I always say, you're waiting to lose a hundred pounds. You're waiting to find a new boyfriend. You're waiting to become a YouTube star. You're doing it wrong. You know, all your emotions are available at all times and you know, happiness leads to success not the other yes. way around so you think i'm gonna like lose weight get a boyfriend and you know solve then the I'll world and then i'll be happy versus you can be happy you and, be happy and happiness right is a lot easier than we think too i think happiness is not some urban legend of i will do this then be happy it's like that's why when people say to me like oh happy i'm like happy's very happy's fine yes. it's the other stuff like yeah happy you could easily go go do some drugs be happy <laughs> go really happy is it's easy happy it's is the easy. other stuff that it's like so i mean i'm i'm always looking for purpose i'm always looking for you know just to just different emotions than happiness because i you know but i yeah i think enjoy the journey that's the thing it's like look at someone like me who is 44 years old and i've had many chapters of my life and i think you just have to enjoy all of them because it's i i, I love messy me i got a tattoo that says as is mm -hmm. because i do i love myself I like myself 100% as is. And yeah. I have some terrible qualities and I don't need to go to therapy or life coach myself out of them. I love my terrible qualities because I'm yeah. a human being. Yeah, we're <laughs> so not it's like, perfect. I have amazing qualities that I love and I can list off. And I've got some qualities that aren't great. So I do. I love myself. I like myself as is. And I give you that same grace and compassion. I love you. I like you as is. I think so much of our suffering is wishing our spouse was different, wishing our YouTube audience was different, wishing yes. it versus I love and I like you just like this. Yeah, it's I okay. Appreciate what it is. I do. Yeah. So I think that's my main advice. Love and like yourself 100% as is. You're not, do not wait to lose weight or find a boyfriend or find a new job. It's you're 100% awesome and lovable and worthy. And I know we say that, and if you don't think that, you're like, this is bullshit. He, she's a therapist, yeah, he's like, a life coach. But <laughs> it is the truth, whether you believe it or not, and someday mm -hmm. you might need to want to hear that and remind yourself. And so I, I think you're awesome, and I'm so grateful that you're watching this video. And I think, you know, you add great value to the world as you. It's like, I think that's the thing. It's like, we're always looking externally for our internal problems. And it's yes. like, you, you're, you're, awesome and you add great value to the world and if you're watching this and you want to be a youtuber turn on the camera yeah. and become a youtuber and if you don't that's okay too but just ask yourself what do i want to do with my life and then do it really ask yourself direct your brain and go for all of it now i'm done I, rambling i know i love <laughs> it though. but thank you for sharing thank your you. story because i think it's important people know the mucky muck parts okay muck. and we all have different journeys and yeah. i like that you know you've Birthed a whole new Michael. Thank you. As we all should. Buckle up. And grow. Yeah. Buckle up. Good, Michael Buckley, buckle, buckle up. That's a good, yeah. That, yeah. Trademark. Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank I love you, you. And we will you. see you guys next time. Bye. And remember, if you ask shitty questions, you get shitty answers. How am I going to get through today? Why am I so busy? Why can't I lose weight? Why doesn't this person... If you ask yourself shitty questions, you get shitty answers. So ask yourself powerful questions.